All right, I'm on hole number two of the cliff top links. I uh, epic failed on hole number one. Didn't give my what I did is I didn't give myself a real serious shot at the eagle. Um, several problems there. You hit two rings great to the right. You're probably going to end up in the rough. I want to clear up something. I shot some videos just in the practice round where I was, and I when I was back watching them. Um, I made the comment of when I'm taking drive shots, I don't normally adjust for the wind. And, and what, I'm, what I meant there is I always adjust for the wind, always adjust for the wind. But what I meant there was is that I don't normally do when we talk about where, there's, where we need to add on an additional 20% or an additional 10%. Sometimes I'll add that on depending on the hole. And on hole number one, there really is about a 20%. The, the tee box, the tee box is way up here. And then here's the spot that we're, I mean, it's so far downhill that it's going to carry farther than what the what a normal shot would be. So if we were here on, and we were shooting a flat shot, then, you know, let's say for instance, my, my big dog, it's 2.5 per ring. And if I was on a flat shot and I, did a full wind adjustment, I'd pull back two, and it was, let's say 2.5 was the wind, then I'd pull back one ring. Whereas, because we're so much higher, it's actually gonna carry farther. So, if you do a 20% wind adjustment, in this case, that would be 0.25 times two would be 0.5. So add that to 2.5, now you have a three wind. So instead of doing a one ring pull, you're gonna do a ring and a fifth. So you're gonna pull a little bit more, and that gives you a little bit more breathing room down there so if you do hit a grate on the inside which in this case would be the right it gives you a little bit more room so if you ever hear me say I you know like I'm not making that wind adjustment on here I'm I always make wind adjustments I just don't always make an additional wind adjustment on a drive it just depends on the drive and on this particular hole with the way that the rough is down there it it, it really is important to make that extra wind adjustment to get over so I'm on hole number two Let's go check out hole number two. Yeah, so what I did here was I set the ball up correctly and then I hit on the inside two rings great and I ended up out here in the rough. And I, number one, if I would have hit it perfect, I wouldn't have ended up in the rough. And if I would have made that extra 20% wind adjustment, that probably would have saved me as well and I would have ended up out here where I would have had a legitimate shot for eagle. So I had to do a recovery shot just to get up, get up on the flat up at the top, put my ball in for birdie and move on. And when, you, when you're on these holes, you know, our goal is to try and give ourselves a shot on every hole to pick up one. But if you find that, hey, you know, you made a mistake and you ended up in the rough or you ended up in sand, it's not the end of the world. Get back out in the fairway. Make your recovery shot. Go to the next hole. All right, this hole right here, I am... <sighs> the wind adjustment on this hole, I am, I am just baffled. And I've gone up the scale. I'm going to go back up. I, I, in my low-level account, I, I have to shoot um, the shootouts just because of the coin situation. <laughs> Even though it's a thousand coins, it's still a thousand coins in that account. And I played around. I got this hole quite a bit in shootouts. So I was playing around with the wind adjustment, and I tried a 40% wind adjustment. And I actually, I'm going to go big. I'm gonna go big on this hole and I'm gonna keep working this hole until I can figure out exactly the spot. And the key here is to find a spot so that you're in the same spot, you set the ball up in the same spot and then you make your adjustment and you shoot your shot. You didn't get the result you're looking for, you learn from that. You come back the next time you set it up in the same spot, you make an adjustment and you keep doing that. But if you're, if you're here one time and 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 you're here one time, then you're never gonna, it, you're never gonna catch up. You may have a great shot here and a bad shot here and, and it, you'll never catch up. So goal number one is to get at least something so that it's standard. And the standard thing here is to try and find a spot. So what I did learn is that as far as like ball goes, I'm going to use a quasar. Originally I had it set up with a nav, but I'm going to use a quasar because I need that side spin. And I was using a sniper, and even though I have a sniper that's got backspin, I'm going to switch my sniper to a guardian because I'm looking for that backspin. So if I'm having to learn how to do this shot and have to set this shot up, I might as well go out and learn how to set this shot up. It's one of those deals. I'm not really, in all seriousness, I'm not too concerned about par threes at the beginning of the week. That's why we have, 
you know, the goal is is to get a birdie. Don't risk your birdie. But come out here and see what you can learn. Let's see if I can get a little bit farther out so I can see what the heck's going on. You know, that looks like, if you look at the tail there, it looks like it's going to, it's turning towards the hole. So that's a 3-1. I'm going to do a 40% wind adjustment. So that's three point, that's 0.3 times 4. That's 1.2. That's 4-3. This hits 1.2 per ring. So there's 4-8. So we're about three and a half rings. A little over. I'm going to run out of time. Hit it perfect. Should get a good read here. That was a 40% wind adjustment. Pretty much looking at it. Hole in one. <laughs> That's the first hole in one I've gotten on this hole. So I'm definitely, <laughs> I definitely like that. And what I did was there is I wedged my rings up between the rough and the sand. So I had my white ring out here on the rough and I had my white ring over here on the sand. And that way, every time I come here, I can put it back in a similar spot. So what I'll do now is go back and look at the backspin. I know that there must have been max side spin on it, but how much backspin I used, it looked like probably five, six backspin. One of the benefits that you have when you're watching the video is you can go back and, and look at that or write that number down and I'll have to go back later and watch the video and see what, what I put on there. But the whole goal is to try and find a spot here. And, and really when I go back, the two things I'm gonna be looking for when I go back and watch this video is number one, what was the real wind adjustment there? So I did three and a half rings and that would be three, six and a half, that'd be four, two. And look at the wind. I think I was trying to compensate for a 4-3 wind. So I, th I think the wind adjustment was pretty right. But I'll go back and be very critical of myself because sometimes I shoot a shot and it doesn't do what I'm looking for. And I go back and go, geez, dude, you thought it was a 2-9 wind and it was actually a 3-9. <laughs> so call me an idiot. But that's, uh, that's the way that works. All right. That was hole number two of the Cliff Top Links tournament. That kind of made up for my uh, faux pas on hole number one. One of the things when I shoot these videos and I post videos where I make bad shots is, hey, I'm like everybody else, I, I make bad shots, but I, I try and practice these holes. Like during tournament week, I try not to play anything but tournament holes. And I have several accounts and I play those accounts and I know when I read the Facebook pages where people are going, all these guys that are at the top, they're just, you know, doing setup shots and, and hey, I'll tell you what, when you play real golf, you walk the course. You work with your caddy. You look at the course layout. You make a plan. You have a plan. You set it up. Every time you play that course, you go out there and you you go. You know where I'm going to hit. Like I'm really trying to hit into that area because that gives me the best look at the green. It may not be the one. That may not be the shot with the most distance. I see guys all the time when I'm playing real golf. They'll go out there and they're trying to pound it as far as they can down there. And the deal is, is that they got to where they wanted. Yay! Now when you go out on the green, the green's elevated. You got a sand trap in front of you, and the only way you can get it to stop at the hole is to backspin it. And not everybody has that shot in their bag in real golf. Whereas I laid it up a little, a little bit farther out. I've got a 140 yard shot. They had a 100 yard shot, but my 140 yard shot has a wide open mouth right up to the green. I can dribble it onto the green, and so it's the same deal that's why we walk the course and that's why we have a caddy and we talk to the caddy and we research that whole that course before we go out there and play so that we can get better and better and then when we are playing for real you know we have a game plan going in it's not a surprise you're not uh, freaking out about a hole going man this is a big hole all right that was hole number two of the cliff top links tournament thanks for watching